The Ace family recently announced that they're getting a divorce, with both Catherine and Austin having posted separate statements on Instagram sharing the news with the public. The reactions have been insane, with tons of people celebrating for Catherine, which sounds weird to say because obviously a divorce is a hard, sensitive situation. But people have just disliked these two so much over the years and heard all the rumors about Austin having been unfaithful and seen how loyal Catherine has been staying by his side and always defending him and coming up with all these scams and lies together that everyone is just happy to see her get away from all of that i think people are just wanting to see what she can do on her own maybe she'll prove to everyone that her and austin are one in the same and the weird money schemes and scams will continue or maybe she'll completely turn around her image which i think is what a lot of people are hoping to see happen for her Catherine has now decided to speak out further about everything going on, sharing more information about their divorce on Snapchat, answering questions, and talking about where they're at in all of this and how she's been feeling. And it sounds like she's doing great, the best she has ever been, matter of fact. Catherine explained kind of what went wrong, and it sounds like she just was not happy in the relationship, but stuck it out because of their kids and tried to make it work until she truly just could not anymore. And I'm sure this is gonna go everywhere, but I, I do wanna say that, and I, I, own, I own this, I own up to this, I lied to myself for a very long time. And I was not happy and my main priority was always, always, always my kids and my family and just prioritizing them because they're the most important thing to me and I feel like at the end of the day, nothing else really matters other than your family and people that are close to you and love. Like love is literally the strongest, most important force in this universe. So that's kind of what I've always prioritized. And so moving forward now, um, things have changed because I realized that in order for my kids to truly be happy, I have to be truly happy, like truly, truly, truly happy inside. And yeah, I feel like I was lying to myself for a long time, telling myself that I was happy. From what Catherine is saying, it sounds like she really was just this supportive rock to Austin and didn't want to cause problems in their relationship. Just was there for him and their family and she really hurt because of that, putting everyone before herself. One thing about me and Austin is we never fought, we never argued, no, no, nothing, like nothing. Like we were and still are the bestest friends. And so for me, I thought like, oh, there's nothing wrong. Like there's nothing wrong here. But um, I had been lying to myself and I knew that certain things didn't feel right and certain things weren't right. And this goes back like years. It just is clear from this Snapchat that after everything that's happened with them over the years, she had had enough. And for the first time in a long time, she's choosing herself in order to be better for her kids. One thing about me is my loyalty and my commitment to my family is unmatched. And that's one thing that I will always take pride on because my loyalty is like, like, I'm like the definition of loyal. <laughs> like I'm very loyal and um, I just, I always protect and I protect my family and I protect everyone. Like if you're a friend of mine, I will protect you. If, you, if I love you, I protect you. And that's kind of my personality and that's kind of who I've always been and that's truly who I am. And like I have this like fire in me, this strength about protection that I will always have. And so I think being this way has kind of caused me to put aside my happiness and um i'm saying a lot without saying a lot right now we've seen just how loyal catherine has been to not only austin but his entire family she stuck up for austin as well as his brother landon which a lot of people have said that she owes shyla an apology because when Shyla came out about what went down in her relationship with Landon, she accused him of having hurt her a number of times, among other things, and Catherine was the one who actually responded to Shyla, posting a video on Snapchat going off on her, basically, and defended Landon, saying that he's a good guy. So we have seen just how loyal Catherine has been to this family. She still seems to be on good terms with Austin, though. She's saying that they're still best friends through all of this, so... 
I'm sure she will still continue to be somewhat loyal to the family since she is being nice about how things ended, but I think people are hoping to see her apologize to Shyla or for them to be able to connect in some way. I don't really see it happening, but I mean, we'll just have to see. But Catherine does seem so happy now that she is in this new phase of life and she said on her Snapchat that she's really just never been happier than she is right now. I just want to say that I am truly, truly, truly happy. Like, I have never been this happy in my life. And it's not because of the change, but it's because of where I feel within myself and where I have been for a while now. I've, I've been feeling like this for months. I feel like I'm in a good place now. I have no fears of nothing or anyone. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> flowing through life. She did want to say that even though she is happy, there is sadness there as this is a huge change and her and Austin have been together for such a long time. And I was surprised to honestly hear that as of right now, they're still living together. Austin is moving out soon, but I was kind of shocked by this because I think I just figured that when they announced the news of their divorce that they had probably already been separated and living apart for some time and had come to terms with everything. So they felt comfortable announcing, but I guess they're taking us on this new phase of life journey with them just because i am happy and i feel good and i'm happy with my decision and i'm going in the direction that i truly feel like i should be going doesn't mean that i'm not sad at the same time um there's a lot of sadness i don't think it's really like hit me yet because austin hasn't moved to his new place yet but there's sadness. Yes, it's like a mourning a death or something. Like it's like mourning, like I, I can truly say that this would be like the first time that I have to mourn something that has like died in my life, like ended in my life, um, figuratively speaking, of course. And I don't want anyone to think that just because I'm happy doesn't mean that I also don't have sadness for the changes and for my children and for the new dynamic. There's going to be a lot of changes happening like soon, like transitioning. I still don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm very new to this new dynamic that we're going to be unfolding and going into, but I'm okay with it. I got no fears. I'm okay with it. And it's okay. She said they plan to stay a strong parenting unit for their kids and hang out, having their kids see them together. So it's not like there's bad blood, but Catherine also ended up answering some questions that people had sent her and the answers were quite interesting. Someone asked her about what she had mentioned in her Snapchat about things in their relationship that didn't feel right. They said, also what kinds of certain things that didn't feel right? She said, pressure of the world and everyone looking to destroy us, not having good communication, growing at different rates, etc. Everyone looking to destroy us is such an interesting statement because I feel like nobody was actively like, OMG, I want to split these two up. But there were accusations that came out about Austin, not once, not twice, but multiple times and from multiple big name influencers who had said they had witnessed things firsthand or saw Austin out and were calling him out. I don't think that multiple influencers or people were lying about what they witnessed. I think people wanted better for Catherine and it is why a lot of people have been so vocal about it, but she was going to be loyal. I just don't think people wanted her out of their relationship for no reason. They were obviously talking about their relationship because of all the things that had come out and been seen. And if that's not what she's referencing in terms of people trying to destroy them, if she's talking about people reporting on them and things like that, I mean, they kind of brought all that stuff on themselves from all the lies they told and the scams and the foreclosure, like that was gonna be news, not because anyone was just making it up. All those lawsuits were public record, the foreclosure was public record, so that's on them. But she was asked about this part specifically when someone said, the world wants to destroy good things, it's jealousy, why let it happen? She said, I learned that early on, a lot of evil eye, but we handled that very well until we really had to face a lot of darkness to make us grow, that was hard. At the end of the day, it's good that she's saying that she is the happiest that she's ever been and prioritizing herself and her own happiness in order to be better for her kids. And I think she has a lot of support behind her, even though the Ace family has been so controversial and scandalous. 
but I think people are willing to see where this new chapter of life leads her. But I want to know what you guys think about what Catherine had to say about everything in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.